When you think about the punk movement, you don't necessarily think about Buddhism. But here at Dharma Punks, that's exactly what they think of. Both punk and Buddhism have an enormous questioning of everything and an encouragement for us to find the answers through our own lives, our own practice, our own awareness. What does the punk movement have to do with Buddhism? It was always labeled to be so nihilistic. But these people were aiming for a purity of feeling when we sit and meditate. It's exactly the same thing, only it's the other side of the coin. The punks really said, no, it's really about what's going on inside of you, what's your real purpose, not trusting anything, finding it out for yourself. And the Buddha taught the exact same thing. What are some of the misconceptions you run up against? Well, the first is that you have to have a tattoo. I happen to have tattoos. I drew most of my tattoos, so it's all an expression of my spiritual practice. But you're kind of running out of real estate, right? Yeah. <laughs> what are the people here looking for? when they come here. The core practice of meditation is the word samadhi, which means focusing the mind. Part of the meditation practice is to bring awareness to the habitual ways that we get ourselves worked up, to give us choices over what we think about. I find like emotional patience that I did not have before is, uh, is incredible. I broke my rib about five weeks ago, and normally as an athlete and I'm competing and everything, that would be pretty bad thing. It's the first time I've ever had patience. Meditation is a great help in not only ending the behaviors that cause us stress, but also addictive behaviors. Anyone who's had a tendency to misuse alcohol and drugs. Did I you run into that? Yes, absolutely, in my past. I stopped many, many years ago, and uh, a great help was meditation. I'm actually in recovery from drugs and alcohol, and that's a big part of the origins of Dharma Punks. I was definitely out of control uh, year, years ago, um, whereas now it's quite the opposite. Dharma Punks is uh, basically a group that was started by Noah Levine, and he had a very troubled youth and wound up incarcerated. When he was in prison, he started practicing meditation, and uh, when he got out of prison, he actually started teaching it to other troubled youths, and he got a following. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about some of the tools that the Buddha offered to help us when we're paralyzed by making a big decision in life. Josh talks quite a bit about finding a place of comfort and a place of happiness within yourself that doesn't rely on anything else. It's amazing the extent to which that allows you to make better decisions, or just to step out of yourself and not be so crazy in your head. So you just find your center and you feel better, you feel happy. Watson, just bring your awareness into the present moment. Thinking thoughts like relax, let go. The good thing about meditation is we can meditate anytime, even lying in bed. It doesn't cost anything and there's no side effects. Most people in our culture, we fear thinking about death, growing old and sickness. And the Buddha used these core uh, events in our lives as something to reflect on. And when we bring that kind of practice that people often get when they're much older, when they realize that our, our time is limited, we start really appreciating the moment, or the present moment, which is really the only time that we can find true happiness anyway, and a real sense of purpose in our lives.